Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Saeed TV. We are live for the midday live. And we have a lot to talk about. Liverpool's quad. Anybody know where Liverpool's quad is? Everybody knows? <laughs> Robs, are you playing commentary next round? Are you playing commentary next round? Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> Liverpool tears. Not tears. You know what I mean? <laughs> you thought you could come to Old Trafford and take it easy on us. Are you mad? Robs, are you mad? You lot got humbled, yeah? You lot got sent home packing. Yeah? Liverpool tears. That's what it's all about. You know what I mean? Nunes had to be you lot. Had to be you lot. Bullied. Yeah? Gakpo tried to come on. Get out. Yeah? I'm a Diallo. What did I tell you about my baller? Yeah? Give him the chance and he will score. And he sent those scousers packing. Yeah? This quad, mate, is gone, mate. This invincible quad. And I hope your season crumbles. Yeah? I hope this is the start of your season crumbling. And you only leave with the Carabao Cup. Yeah? Your greatest ever manager leaving with only a Carabao Cup. We pray for that day. Yeah? Man's rattled. Man's salty in the interview. Yeah? Well, I'll go on, Mr. Jurgen Klopp. It's not going your way, is it? It's not going your way. Is that why you're leaving at the end of the season? It's getting too tough. Oh, Klopp, it's okay. <laughs> we love that, man. To try to phone pyros and whatever flares in the disabled section. Moggy, not all Liverpool fans, but they tried to do everything they could to disrupt us. But you know what, Liverpool? Hold that. Big up to everyone locked in. Sell, <laughs> Rums, Don, Lee Gunner, good, LB. What are you telling me, guys? It's a glorious day today. Wait, was you in glorious, the disabled glorious. section? Did you, did you sit in the disabled no, section? No, I actually wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> All I can say, Saeed, is thank you very much because I didn't expect you lot to do anything. Me, as a Chelsea fan, I'm tired of these men. You know, I'm tired of Liverpool. You know, Goliath has been slayed because they've been they've been Goliath to us. You know, part was it four yeah. four finals you've beaten us from? You ain't playing us again mm. this time, are you? <laughs> hey yo, you you know, this time, no, 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 don't, don't, don't. Wait, I'll, I'll, listen, I'll, I'll, listen, listen, don't, don't. I'll hear it. I'll hear it from Lee. I'll hear it from LB. Yeah. I'll hear it from Saeed. Mm. But you, you. I'm not hearing it from you. We own you. Remember that. Bro, I'm, not okay. so bro, I'm just, say, I'm just, bro. I'm just saying. I'm happy that we ain't playing you again because I'm sick and tired of you. I'm sick and tired of you. You know, bro. LB can hype up, but he hasn't beaten me this bro. season. You know, he hasn't beaten me. You've not beaten us. He's coming here with a lot of chest for two draws. Exactly. Both, <laughs> both, <laughs> both, both, both games. Both games. Arguably, I should have won. Arguably, 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 FC. Is that what it is now, Don? Don, yeah, Don, what's it gonna be? Don, what's it gonna be? Seven on the bounce losses at. Wembley wants City beat you as well. It's just going to get worse for you. So enjoy it. Enjoy it whilst it lasts. Oh, is it? Oh, if I was you, listen, you don't want Arteta winning that trophy, that Prem, because you know what's going to happen, mm. right? If that happens, mm. yeah? Matches the same mm. amount of ones that clubs got. you got to focus. Mm. You know what I mean? you got to focus on mm. the focus. Yeah? Focus on. Interesting. We'll see. We'll Interesting. see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but listen, big up to everyone locked in, man. There's over a thousand people in here already. Smash the like button on the video. Smash the like button for clock tears, man. For Liverpool tears, smash the like button. But yeah, man, guys, what a game, by the way. Well, I don't know if you guys covered it on your channels or what. I know you guys league got a LB and that, but boy, what a game. Basketball game at times. Second half was a bit flat. They had control of the game, but bro, we could have won it. They should have won it. This, that, the other, but I start off with um, with Rums, and then obviously we get over to end. But how you feeling, my Rums, man? How you feeling? I feel like this. The minute Diallo scored, I put my phone on flight mode. I wasn't hearing from anyone. My head, my head was, my head was absolutely god, absolutely god. To the team, I hate more than anything to to knock us out because I always said I didn't believe in a quad, but I thought we'd win the cup treble. I think I thought we'd do what we did in 01, and it had to be you. I don't want to say it, it had to be you lot to stop it. But cool. No. If we're gonna that's the game, I think first twenty minutes you're all over us. I think you're on, you're beating our press. 
you obviously got the early goal of McTominay, and we just didn't get going the first 20 minutes. Then we yeah. restored some control. We saw we were short, we restored some control. We need to be a bit more clinical. We weren't, and then just for, before half time, obviously we get the goal with um McAllister. What I've been saying for weeks on here is we in the especially in the big games, Europa League, um League Cup, whatnot. We can dismiss the teams because they don't really have the quality. But I'm noticing a trend. City at home, Arsenal at home, United at home. We're not clinical enough. Against, against the big teams, we'll be playing well, but we're not clinical enough. You only have to go back to last weekend to see it. Um, Obviously, we get the second goal through Salah. The break, good um, good shot by Nunes. A bit of a, a bit of fortune for us. Then Salah scores. Going to halftime 2-1, saying to my mates that I was watching it with two United fans, by the way, so I was already surrounded by them. I said, you know what? We just need one more goal and we'll win this. I predicted 3-1. So I, I don't care. I know it's Old Trafford, whatnot. But the form we were going into this game, you lot a bit hit and miss. I know we don't normally travel well, but I still thought we would win the game comfortably. I don't, didn't think it would be a battering, but 3-1. And I think I had every right to think that, right? So we've gone into 2-1. I said, once we get a two-goal cushion, we'll win this game. Started the second half. I would say we were in control till about the 80th minute. We were getting chance after chance. We had a foothold of the game. But I don't even want to rip into them. But Gapo and Diaz, what have I been saying week in, week out on this stream? Because I'm going to give Nunes his corn soon. But Diaz is a rich man's Alex St. Maximum. He's got all the endeavour, all the skills, but he does not have the end product. And, <laughs> and Cody and Cody Gapo, I said last week he's squad player at best. He's not even that. I, I would actually cash in on him in the summer. If we could get if we can get back in what we paid for him, I'll cash in on him because he is not a good footballer. And this isn't reactionary. When we signed him, I said, you know what? He hasn't really moved me. Leeds. Do you remember when PSV came to Arsenal last year in Europa? I was at that game. Mm. I wasn't moved by him then. I watched him in a World Cup. Yeah, he's, I think he got three or four goals. I wasn't moved by him then. When we signed him, our fans are waxing lyrical. Just back him. We signed him. You know, you get that narrative when you sign a player. Just back him. I said, he doesn't move me. This gap doesn't move me. But do you know what he was living off? The 7-0 win. Because he scored two good goals. And fans are like, see, we got a player here. And I'm like, he'll score here and there. But he's not that good. But him and Diaz, constantly on the counter-attack, were letting us down. So Bozlai with his weight of pass again. We're going to have some... Listen, we're going to have to have some uncom uncomfortable conversations about him. Because whenever he's got the ball... Did you see that was about two, three times? Acres of space. And I get onto Gallagher at Chelsea for being indecisive. This is a player we paid 60, 70 million for. And whenever he's in acres of space, it's kind of like he doesn't know what to do. Him, them three on the counter, that trip, um, Gallup, um, Sabozlai, Diaz and Gapo, whenever they're running as a unit, I'm kind of like, we're not going to score from this. Salah, cool, didn't have the best of games, but Salah does what he does. He put the ball in the back of the net. Elliot's come on, cool, a bit um of fortune, scored a deflected goal. Elliot done his thing as well. But then... I want to go. I want to go goal by goal that we conceded by you lot. The first one, noon. Um, Gomez and Gomez and Kwanza, two square, two square run. Didn't track the runner. Endo needed to recognize the day. People are blaming McAllister for the first goal. I'm blaming Endo for that goal because he needed to recognize the danger before it happened as McTominay was running in. The second goal now, Anthony. You know what? Fair play to Bradley for containing. <laughs> fair play for, to Bradley for containing. Um. Garnacho, but once it goes into um Anthony, Elliot needs to be there. He needs to close him down quick enough. You can't allow, I can't even call him a fidget spinner because he's fun and actually scored, so I can't even call him that. But you can't allow Anthony, probably United's worst sign in, in, in recent history, to go on his weaker foot, and it was a great finish. I have to hold my hands up. Credit where it's due. It was a great finish. But to go on his weaker foot, swivel, and put it at the bottom corner, it's just not acceptable. It is not acceptable. And then we go 3-2 up, I think, halfway through extra time. I'm like, cool. Once we get a fourth, remember I was saying it to you still in the chat. We just need another goal, a cushion, and it'll be fine. This either ends 3-3 three, three, or 4-2. Well, I was wrong with both. Elliot then scores. I'm like, cool. Nunes gets the ball. Van Dijk is screaming at him. Play it back to Simicast or just boot it. I, was, I grew up on this. If in doubt, boot it out. It's a simple thing. None of this playing in the back, playing out the back all the time. Just boot out. But Simicastle was behind him in acres of space. Virgil van Dijk was screaming at him. The minute it got played through, I've got to credit Rashford on that finish as well because it was slightly behind him. It's not like it was in his path. When we're not, when McTominay plays it to him, it was slightly behind him, and it was and it was a good finish. Then the last goal. There were seconds left. Panel. There were seconds left. Elliot, just kick it out. Endo or Elliot, just literally boo it out. Just boot it out. 
What do they do? Trying to bring it down, play again. Back to the saying I just said, if in doubt, just kick it. And it, with that one, it's not like there was minutes to go where we could start another attack. There were seconds, so just boot it out, we go to penalties. Mm. What do they do? Garnacho and um Garnacho and Ahmad gambled, nicked the ball off, go on the other end, you win the game. In the dying moment against our arch rivals, I was incensed. I was incensed. I put my phone on flight mode and I literally went home. I left all my mates, said, I'm going home. I'm not having none of this. But listen, <laughs> it was naive. It was naive from us. All we had to do is be a bit more clinical and just clear the ball out. And I have to, I have to, can't lie, I have to give Klopp criticism because Salah has two weeks off. I don't know if you lot are aware. He doesn't travel with Egypt. Why are you taking our best player off? It's like last week, what, what me and LB are speaking about. You keep Kevin De Bruyne on because of what he can create. Why are you taking Salah off when I don't care if he just come back from injury because he has two weeks rest. It's not like we have another game midweek. We have a whole two weeks rest. And Egypt, which... If I was them, I, I wouldn't even make this agreement with Liverpool. If a player plays for your nation, if he's fit enough, you go and play for your nation. But Egypt have been kind enough to say, you know what, just come back from injury. We, we're going for the league. You know, you can have him. But I don't know why Klopp's taking him off. So Bozza, I can understand because he weren't doing much. But Klopp has to have corn from this. He has to because you, you can't be taken side off. To bring on Gakpo, a guy that can't put the ball in the back <clears> of the net. And, and El, to be fair, other than the last goal, Elliot did okay. He put us ahead and we should have took the game from there. But Klopp has to have criticism for, for this performance as well, man, because you, you just don't take Salah off. But all in all, it's back to our problem. We're not clinical enough, especially in the big games. Especially in the big games. We didn't play 90 minutes of stat pad against oh, um, the Romanian... Uh... Fantastic. That violin yeah. section was insane, lads. <laughs> Get the violins out. Oh my God, man. <laughs> hey, I've been telling hey. you a lot about this Gak Poo, bruv, since you signed him, and your fans went, Oh, he's so good. No, he's not. He's trash. Yeah, I told you last week about the Colombian Alex Awobi. You didn't listen to me. That's what you get served up again. Yeah, he's a headless chicken, bruv. <laughs> Yeah, the amount of times you were five on two, five on three, four twice on two. Twice, Lee. Twice, Lee. Five on two, twice. Not once, twice. It's embarrassing. And the thing is, yeah, do you know what makes it even funnier? Yeah, the fact that Man United have been absolutely popped off of Old Trafford all season. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. exactly. exactly. And then you go and hold four. Oh, my days. Do you know what? All jokes aside, though, yeah? All jokes aside, right? This might be this might be a blessing in disguise. Bigger fish to fry for Liverpool. No, 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 Lee. Yeah. Lee, Lee, Lee. We, don't, we, don't, we don't do that. We don't do that. I wanted to win. I wanted Bigger to win the FA Cup. Fry. I wanted to win the FA Cup. We don't. We don't. It do was that. all in our hands. Yeah, well, ain't any more. Oh, no. Doing it for Klopp. Oh. Dog trophies mean more. Well, that well, well good luck. Klopp, man. Well done. well done. I find it hilarious. Absolutely hilarious, man. Yeah, your fans are so cocky. It's crazy. Like, honestly, so cocky. Yeah, listen, I thought you'd slap him. Yeah, I'll be real with you. I, I thought you'd slap him. I thought it was going to be like 4 1, mm. 5 1, 6 1. Mm. Like, I thought you'd absolutely batter him. I think I predicted 6 0. I can't lie. I think I actually predicted 6 0. I thought you'd just go out there and terrorize him. What? But, 6 0? Yeah, I, oh, I just thought, you know yeah, what? Liverpool, yeah, they've, they've been bagging goals in the Europa League. Yeah, like. They're, they've got Salah back. He's starting. And I just thought, you know what? Yeah, I think with, with Nunes, Diaz, like even though he's um he's a bit wild right, and he ain't got no end product, he does cause drama. Right? And he drags players out, which then leaves space for the, for the other two, yeah? But, bro, when you end up deal down... Goals, man. They tried to jam me at Lee. They, uh, that's why I wasn't <laughs> taking this loss. I was in the ground thinking, yo... These men have got two deflected goals here. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not having this, man. Whereas I looked at our goals and when we were playing football, I was like, yeah, cool. We're on it. And these men thought they could get away with it with two deflected jammy goals. No. Hold on, say One minute, that, one minute. Hold on, no. How many times did Liverpool <laughs> block five on two, four on two, right? The amount of overload attacks they created and they screwed them all up and it came to bite them in the ass. That, like, let's not ignore that. what in that game. Hold Liverpool that. had you. They had you. And they and they choked. I don't know what happened to them in the final third. They choked. Even the commentator said, "A history. This could come back to bite them." And <laughs> oh, it did. 
<laughs> they're also Del, pure arrogant, though. Uh, Stel, yeah, they're also pure yeah. arrogant, man. In that second half, for the first 30 minutes, they were just passing the ball around, doing nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Taking. Mine, who was yeah, in the yeah. middle on his own, you know, no support from anyone. Own. And Liverpool mm. were just going through it. And they were just passing the ball left, right, left, right. And mm. I said it in my watch along. It was no surprise. He said, like, Liverpool need to go and kill off United because United were there for the taking. As yeah, soon as you got to the 80th minute, Mark, there was only going to be one team that was that was going to be pushing forward if it was stayed at 2-1, and that was United. So Liverpool mm. only have themselves to blame. I think they got bare arrogant during the match. They just thought they had United where they wanted them and United weren't going to come mm. back. And at the end of the day, as shit as United are, they've still mm. got a few players that can hurt you on the day. And that's exactly what happened, man. So Liverpool just got to hold this. That's their own fault. Quad's over. And, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, pressure's now on Klopp, mate, because I tell you what, Rams, yeah, if Jurgen Klopp leaves this country with only one Premier League, you better hope and pray that Arteta don't win a Prem, mate. Otherwise, you want to speak about Gap uh -huh. as a serious conversation. We'll be bringing up some other untasteful mm. conversations for you, bro. I promise you that, mate. Mm -hmm. I promise you that. And, and, you, and you know that fan base, mm -hmm. and you know that fan base is, is shameless as well. You know, they started, you know, linking him to, to Gareth Bell, putting him in conversations with Gareth Bell and the Prem and whatnot, certain, certain world-class players at, at that side. You know that's gonna happen, Roms, innit? You know what I mean? And listen, LB, you look alright about the arrogance that Liverpool came with, yeah, because it rubbed off in the stadium. Said you were there, so you can tell us. You, United, no. bro, like it, old, old Trafford. I haven't seen it rocking like that this season. It, was it felt like it was. They rocking. were helping them. They were helping them and giving them that little, you know, second win that they needed. Because United, bro, I can't lie, they had sustained attacks. Liverpool were, were on ropes. You know, like in boxing when you've got the guy that that like, dazed when you've yeah. banged him in the face, yeah. They had you lot days, and I was looking at it like, oh my gosh, United actually might do something here, you know? But yeah, man, you lot were a little bit too arrogant, I think. I think you were masters of your, of your own downfall. In that final third, you just weren't good enough. You kept breaking down your attacks. It reminded me a little bit of um, when United played City, and they kept going through on goal, and they just kept messing up, yeah, with the, with the final bit of quality. It was similar to that, in a way, right? Yeah. But yeah, but man, Chelsea, listen, the pop, pop, pop's United, isn't it? Chelsea you know what? Do you know, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Like, final, you know yeah. what? You know what? Because I, I, I predicted they'll lose two. LB, LB made a point, yeah? Big up. F F Kobe Mano, the excellent performance. But I think Side would even admit this. Second half, he was knackered. There's some United fans like, why is Tenar taking him off? He was that running like he had a parachute on his back. He was knackered. They had Bruno no. at centre-back. They had Bruno <laughs> Fernandes at back. centre -back. Eric 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 and stay in there, bro. Let him stay there. Let him stay there. We didn't capitalize on that. And you know what? And he was in after the game. And he was in yeah. Exactly. And you know what? When I obviously when I calmed down a bit around nine, ten o'clock, I called my friend, my friend Sports Night, and I said, you know what? And all in all, I was not going to say this to you immediately after the game, but you actually deserved it. You have to hold your hands up. United deserved because yeah. I've, I say this week in, week out. None of this, oh, the team that played better had more possession. No, no, no. It's the team that implement, implemented the game plan and they carried it out. United kept hitting us on the counter. If you want me to be honest, United looked more dangerous on the counter than we did. And we're the better team. That, that, that doesn't right. even make sense. That's our kind of taste, though. Yeah. There's some, yeah. Sorry to cut you, side. There's some Liverpool fans that are saying, oh, if Salah um, stayed on, if we had Jota. Well, we didn't. Accept it. We didn't. We had, to, we had to work with what we had available. And I've said week in, week out, the gap pose that... To Diaz is Nunes, right? I'm gonna I have corn for him for the third goal, but he I, I've got he has a bit of credit in the back because recently he's actually been scoring what I've been asking him to do, but he was yeah. still to blame with that and and whatnot. But Gapo and Diaz, the amount of times we go on that five on two, and against like I said, the Europa League teams you can get away with it, League Cup team, the bottom half of the Prem, you can get away with it. But if you look at all the big games recently, City at home, Arsenal at home, United at home. We don't. We don't. We're not clinical enough. And that's against the better teams. That's when we need you to be more clinical. Not against Sparta, Prague and um, West Ham okay. in the League Cup when we're putting five, six past okay. teams. We need it to happen in the big game. At the end of the day, the big games are the six-pointers. And this is our <laughs> arch rivals. Our arch rivals. And there, mm. some level fans to make for coping are like, it's only the FA Cup. Listen, this is a cup I respect and will always respect. I love the FA Cup. It's what we all gr grew on. So when I got knocked out of this, if you ask me all day long if I'd rather win the the FA or the Carabao, it's a no-brainer. So the fact we got knocked out of this, I was incensed. I was incensed and it had to be you lot to do it. But fair play, you, you implemented your game plan and, and you carried it out, man. You know what, Roms, as well? That's such an L mentality, man, when people say, oh, it's only this competition. Like, at the end of the day, yeah, there's only Fact. a few, there's only a few yeah. competitions Stop. that you can go for each year. And two of them, Champions League and the Premier League, one of them you're not even in, are solid, yeah, exactly. to, solid to win anyway. Like, you've got uh -huh. to be perfect to win them. 
So people who come with that mentality, man, I'm just like, honestly, that's an L mentality, man. People say stuff like, oh, it winds me up. It, it, yeah, it's, it's an English club mentality. It's an English club mentality, mate. You don't see this on the continent. All, the, all them teams in other countries go for the Cups. Yeah, because they know they can't uh, win the league. Yeah, and even if they LB, can win the league, they still go for the Cups. Lee and LB, you've got some of our fans, right? I get the logic, but I don't agree with it. Sack off the Europa League and focus on the Prem. Excuse me? After the Champions League and Prem, that's the third biggest competition you can win. Why are we... No, please, do please, please do Why it. Please please do it. No, no, no. Lee, Lee, you live in Spain. All of the Spanish teams, they love the Europe. There's a reason why they've won the most, I think, in the last 15 years. Spanish yeah, teams yeah, yeah. love it. I think Seville, Seville won um, three back-to-back. -back. Atletico Madrid won two in the last 15 years. Spanish teams love it. Villarreal won one, one. Spanish teams... Yeah, well, we don't want to talk about Spanish that teams. <laughs> Not even the Spanish team. It's everyone in Europe. It's everyone in Europe, bar England, that take that trophy seriously. To be fair, Chelsea do. Chelsea have been in it twice. Yeah, both, both, both times have been. Yeah, both times have been in. Yeah, you've won it twice. twice. But you know. I can't believe. I can't believe there's some Liverpool fans saying, "Oh, sack off the Europa League, go for the Prem, go for both, go for yeah. both." And it's arrogance, bro. That's what it is. You're the minerals, it. man. You're gonna minerals, man. You're gonna minerals. That's oh. why, man. You know what? Let me. Can, can we talk about Kobe Mino, by the way? Kobe Mino bossing Sabozlai. Them man there in the midfield. Did you see the one-two step over? Man's dancing around, bro. Yeah. It was literally live right in front of me because I was on that quadrant right there. This kid is special, man. Like, genuinely. Bro, this guy's playing men's football, yeah? And he's coming in and he's making it look like he's been playing for years. Man's mm -hmm. bossing midfields with McAllister and Sabozlai and Endo uh, and them, man. And he's literally carried out midfield. Side of Sorry? I've never seen you. Oh, this it's happy. Liverpool. It makes me it's sick. Liverpool, it makes me sick. I've, I've, not, I've not seen Sai this happy all season. It makes me. Sick. I don't. Don't you worry. I'm getting it. knocked out to Coventry in the next round, so it's fine, yeah. isn't it? Ah, oh, oh, yeah. They're 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 you know what is also? Yeah. No, no, Listen, me, me, I, Uncle, you know me, the irony. Um, so I, one minute, Don, you know the yeah. irony? Mm. I said, can't wait till we play for Coventry, and that's actually who we would have got. Exactly. Hold up. But now, Kobe Mino, yeah. Honestly, Kobe Kobe Mino has been quality this season, yeah. Right, he's been absolutely quality. Yeah, but that Hungarian Steven Gerrard that you fans were gassing up into oblivion, bro. But he has been awful. Oh, yeah, and that's the player that I wanted to ask him because oh. I mean, you know he's a good player. Yeah, but this is again <laughs> why when you when you get a player in from overseas and nobody watches that league, yeah, and you're just going off a couple of appearances in the Euros, yeah, or like obviously he's not in a World Cup, but in the Euros or whatever, yeah, or just in a few clips that you see doing the rounds. Yeah, and fans just hype up players. Yeah, oh, look at this guy. He's amazing. He's amazing. Well, he quite clearly ain't. Yeah, listen, he's got room for improvement. <laughs> he might get better. But now now the uh, the greatest manager in living history is leaving. Yeah, the chances are he ain't going to get better. Because if the, if the greatest manager in living history can't get a tune out of him properly, how's anyone else? Uh, yeah. But Kobe, coming back to Kobe Mino, bro, that guy's a baller. Yeah, guys, do, you know, do you know what's so Whoa. good about him? Yeah? He just never panics. He always he knows what he's doing before the ball and comes I, to him. He's already seen the picture. You lot might say this is he's premature, yeah. He's a complex. You lot might you lot might say this is premature, but is it a wild take to say he should be on the plane to the Euros? We don't have a player of his profile oh, right. in England. Yeah, team. Henderson in the team. Yeah, exactly. It should, it should we we don't have a player of his profile. We actually he's, don't he's obviously just not taking him though because of, because of his lack of experience, man. Experience, but like he yeah, is yeah, he yeah. is the yeah. best player in that position. Like he's better than Henderson. He's he's, he's obviously how do you get experience unless you take these players. Like he's yeah, no, no, I, I, no, I agree. Yeah. I'm not saw, saying he's we saw Theo Walcott go to the World Cup at age sixteen. So it it can happen, but we know Southgate's very stubborn. But I was actually deep in the England. Um, midfield, and we don't have a player with his with his profile. You know what, don't expect anything I'll... from this manager, mate. You know, Southgate. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, like, it's but true. I can't lie. Se idiot, selfishly, mate. selfishly, yeah, I don't want him there, man, because I've seen kids burn out, man. Especially Gavi. Looking at Pedri now, these guys are playing tournament. He's about tournament. fifteen I'm games. What you want about, bro? Listen, so <laughs> I want him here, wrapped up in Stockport. Let him go chill in Miami. Let him relax. But I don't want him near that England setup. You've got too many players there. You've got your Curtis Jones. I'm one of them. I think for him, I would love it for him. But me, selfish as a fan, I want him staying here, relaxing, avoiding the travel, going over to the summer to do nothing, sit on the bench. What's the point? Let him relax. Let him enjoy the hey, summer. He, he just needs to do what Ben White says. Next time he gets a call up or a potential call, I'm just saying bollocks. Ain't yeah. Coming, bro. Yeah, and I don't fancy yeah, sitting man. on the bench. Right. Ben White don't yeah, like football man. anyway. Why does he want to sit and watch that crap? <laughs> 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 Let's be real with it. Hey, can I ask you a question, oh, though? Right. Can 
to ask you yeah. a question. Everyone's quick to call out decisions, yeah, when it goes against their team. Why? But I've not heard a Liverpool fan calling out that Bruno should have been sent off. Why ain't Man United fans not mentioning that? Why has that been swept straight under the carpet? Terry Flowers, I'm talking to you as well. Yeah, because man talks oh. about equality. Equality. I tweeted him as well. He ain't replied. Wait, yeah, Lee, because Lee, again, Lee, he, Lee, he should... swallowed a performance yesterday, bro. All, all like the magical Wait. and this stuff. Why is no Wait, Bruno Lee. should have had a second yellow? Wait, when? I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I generally can't remember. What? I don't remember it. I can't. I can't. No, of course you don't. Exactly. You see, you was shaking. No, 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 that's not a red. How is that possible? But why? No, no, no. It's it's down it's not into it's not. Come it's on. <laughs> nah, he's not just, having this. And I, I literally did not see like, that. Bruno, should, Bruno died, by the way, was pathetic. And I said it. Get up, man. Get up. But you, I don't know. What was the other foul? McAllister. Was McAllister was just making up. Where he went over the top into, I think it was McAllister. Yeah, what was it? It was a buzz It was a buzz It was a buzz It was a buzz It went straight over the top of yeah, that should have been the same. Okay. Yeah. They gave the free kick though, which was weird because it was a yeah. yellow cup. So yeah. they gave the free kick. Was, the referee was awful, was... man. This referee, by the way, was one of the worst referees I've ever no, but seen. You know, if, if we're like, being honest, really, man. if we're being honest, other than Bru other than the call that Bruno incident, wouldn't you say this game had didn't have that much con controversy? I think that like, there wasn't that standout decision that everyone's incensed about. I think it was. The ref got most decision right, probably bar that one. I think this is a game that was just based yeah. on football. There was no real, like, major controversial decision in my opinion. Rob, there is one thing. Right. Know, but my point is, my point there is, was... yeah, sorry for that one second, yeah. bro. My point yeah. is, people call it out. If if Man United, uh, sorry, if if um, if Man United had had him sent off, yeah, and not won the game, Man United fans would be going mad. Yeah, mm. so if he'd got a second mm. yellow for that, yeah, and then they ended up losing the game. Said and the rest of the fan base would have been going mad, saying that's a disgrace. Look, at, and then they'll be getting up clips of other tackles that were similar that haven't been resulting in a second yellow and blah blah blah. But because they won the game, nobody's calling it out from Man United side. Right? And this is the thing: when mm. people want to sit on channels and on on Twitter and other apps and that, yeah, sitting there calling for, we got to call it out, even if it's for our team. Yeah, and well, Lee, why don't we mention that then? Lee? Lee, that's why oh, I keep right, the same energy. Video on, that, later on the other channel. That's, that's, why I keep, that's why I keep the <laughs> same energy. <laughs> Lee, that's why I keep the same energy. Because even last week, I know all of you disagreed, but that's why I said the City Doku's wasn't it wasn't a penalty. Because if that if that was one of my players that did it, I wouldn't want that to be a penalty. That's why, and I know what you mean. That's why you have to keep the same energy. Because if it doesn't favour you, so that people don't want to want to call it out. So yeah, you're spot on with that point. Yeah, you know what's <laughs> what? Can, I, can we also mention? Can we also mention? A player who Lee Gunner rants always like to mock. Let me land. Let me land. Mm, Alejandro okay. Ganacho. You lot need to lay off this guy. I'm speaking to you lot, yeah. This guy, look at him in the game. The guy never stopped running. Look at the fight. Look at the endeavor. 19 years old. He's not Ronaldo. He's not Messi. He's Ganacho. And you know what? He's got a place in his team this season. And credit to him. Yeah, that's like the state of your football him, Hold on, let me land. <laughs> let me land. The guy, constant threat. Even when my man came on, that uh, Bradley guy. This guy's been quality all season. Man cooked him. Let's be real. Very, very uneasy. And he just came on fresher than Daisy. The pass wasn't the greatest pass, but it got to him. The endeavour. That's what Alejandro Garnacho is. I can't fault the kid. But everyone wants to make him like this next superstar. He's just Garnacho. No, 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 no
Yeah, your football oh, club are posting on their Instagram and getting idol. a haircut, right? And the fact that he's always waffling about Ronaldo. So now the Ronaldo fanboys have adopted him. That not only that, yeah, not only that, this guy yeah, is only playing for Man United because you are trash. Yeah, and, and, and when you're saying about him, like, that's not his no, fault. That's not his fault. That's not his fault. That's not his fault. But when you're talking about endeavor and work rate, sorry, that's a given. Mm. Yeah, I get that. Given. But you don't get that many night heroes like that, though. You don't get that. A lot of well, players you do. don't want to trust that. You don't because generally. You don't, play, you, don't, listen, you, don't, you don't get into a first team unless two reasons. Number one, the first team are trash. Yeah. Or number two, you have a little bit of work rate. Yeah, because everyone loves yeah. that buzz phrase. Where, oh, he we runs around Diaz. a lot. We get onto Diaz for the same thing. God, actually, just does the same thing. Oh, yeah, Diaz, 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 Diaz is 28. Diaz is He can do a job. Diaz is 28. This kid is no, 19. No, and you know what he's got to do with it? As well? What is his age got to do with that? You have not mentioned Kobe Mino's age once. Yes, exactly. I have 18 years old. But that's what I'm saying to you. But my thing is, yeah, Kobe Milo's a special, special talent. But what uh, what what gets me about Guy Nacho is that we criticize him for what I don't understand it. His talent is there to see. He shows it in, in games, no, 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 he gets no, no, no. in behind, talent. he calls a constant threat for United. He's a constant threat. He gets in behind, he makes runs in behind. He's always a like, that's what he is. So I don't understand so what people want so from him. So he's doing what he's, he's supposed not the to be guy doing. That everyone's hyping him up. Sorry. So he's doing what he's supposed to be doing: running in behind, yeah, running in straight lines yeah, with the I ball. I feel like, yeah, and trying to score some goals and trying to reason. set some goals up. So he's doing his job, but he ain't doing it to no, a high no, enough no, level no, to hold get on, you hold on, the table. Hold on a minute. I feel like Garnacho for some reason gets some unwarranted criticism. That's why I believe I want to call it out. There's too much unwarranted criticism for Alejandro Garnacho. That's Sorry. all it is. And yeah, I'm saying, he's scored, he's scored five goals. Be, he's scored five be. goals, and look how hyped right. your fanboys have got. Gas this kid. It's not five goals. Right. Let me ask you the question. Right. So let me ask you a question, right? If if this yeah, yeah. manager is, um, you had 50, 60 million pounds to spend on uh, a player for Garnacho's position. Do you want to see that money spent on that position, or do you want to stick with Garnacho? I don't know, I want the position money spent. I'm telling you that. We need depth. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say to you, no, hold on a minute, but what I'm trying to say to you, what he's doing this so far is doing a good job while he's there. I'm just I'm just saying, give the credit, give, give the kid credit. Like he's, he's in the he's team. He's doing a good job. Me well, like, and that's all. Credit for what? Sorry. If he's doing a good job, credit for what? Ready for what? Performing this my United team that a lot of players not performing. Well done. They're like well the done. He set up a goal that he, 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 he misplaced the pass and Diallo took advantage and took a good touch and scored. Oh, he misplaced the pass. That's insane, man. We're so disingenuous when it comes to God, no, I just, oh, I just don't I, get I, the I, hype around this kid, right? And somebody in the chat says, what about when you were hyping up Smith Rowe? Bro, if you actually watch my videos and my channel for the last 12 to 18 months, yeah. I've said bin him. Yeah? Because he ain't lived up to the hype. Mm. Yeah? Well, Let's just be real. But let me tell you now, he's a better footballer than Garnacho. He's a better footballer than Garnacho. Is, who is, who is. When your football it's club gets serious, you know. that kid will not be at your club. Yeah, he'll, that, he'll be binned off to some dead Can't team ball somewhere, or he'll go to West Ham or Everton. Yeah, Garnacho to Everton, here we go. Yeah, he, he could be the Dwight right. McNeil replacement. Yeah, but ava availability is your best ability, and that's what Simbi Ford doesn't have. So availability yeah, is not the best ability. Accountability is the best ability, and there's no accountability for that kid because he drops stinker after stinker after stinker and plays every minute of every game. Yeah, he is yeah, trash. overused, overused, he overused. Trash. That's Let me ask you as well. Let me Should it be overused as well? Who who would you rather start on that rat, Diallo or Garnacho? It's simple. It's not, I've who always said it. Ama Diallo's got more ability. I've said it already. Like Ama mm. Diallo has got me better ability than Garnacho. But I just I say, it, for me, I just think that the, the, the criticism is overworried and it's over. You're shame. Like, if Ama Diallo, 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 what about Amad Diallo? Can we talk about Amad Diallo? My baller. Yeah. Can we? My baller. Say, yeah, your Diallo, baller can't right? get in because you're playing him. My baller. That's, what, that's see, my point. Because I'm not sure Can I say, right? In, in a couple of in, yeah. next week, it's a North London derby, right? If Pape saw yeah. some young player from Arsenal in the last minute scores the winning goal, that stadium's going to erupt either end. Same Liverpool, yeah, yeah. Everton. I, I don't understand how a young lad 
in the 90, whatever, the, the final kick of the game, extra time, scores the winner. That is like a golden football moment. We'll be yeah. watching that game. How is there a law that send off the player for that? that I know it's the awful. People. It's awful. Yeah, yeah no, that's crazy. That yeah. It's shit, but it's it is what it is, isn't it? Like we all know the rules. Like it is shit. Yeah, None of us agree, but no, like that, that you're gonna punish a player. Like that is the greatest thing you can feel as a footballer. A last yeah, minute winner. In a game, I know, I know, but like the rules are the rules. Do you, like, do you, do you know why he did wait, it? Wait, why did he play the next game yellow. anyway? So he thought, well, why did he get a yellow? Why did why did he get a yellow for taking off? Probably to do with the sponsors, spot. isn't it? Because the sponsors probably right. want to be on the shirt or something. Oh, yeah, sponsors. Hey, like, no, shit, that, but, like, yeah. it is what it is. Yeah, like, like, it's... I don't know, man. If I was a young lad and that happened to me, I'd be like, do you know what? Fuck this, man. I'm staying on. <laughs> I'm not. I'm staying on. Mm. You know what they said? They were saying They were saying he purposely did that to go and break his fast. He had an eight all day. Yeah, probably. That's what I'm going to say later. Something <laughs> seconds left. <laughs> nah, listen, man. End of the day, yeah. FA Cup, man. Listen, it's all about the FA Cup. And we go through, you know what I'm saying, too. But Liverpool hold that, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, in that you moment there, the fans... The treble again, and you failed last season. Are you more confident Bro, this season? listen, you know what's yeah. mad, yeah? Let me tell you something, yeah? Chelsea, with all due respect, yeah? Big up to you lot. But I want Man City in the final, yeah? I Bro. want this Man City, no, mate. Don't. I want revenge, yeah? yeah. I want a revenge, Sorry, mate. Do you believe what you're saying right like now? You just... Yes, I want no, Man City in the final, yeah? Do you believe what you're saying right now? Ray Montana, Ray Montana. Yeah, right. Right. I, 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 I want revenge. Do not tweet that. Step aside, Chelsea. Step aside. I want Man City. I want him, man. I don't know what... I don't know why you're begging for Man City as if they don't treat you like Nelson from Simpsons, bro. They're your big bully. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Liverpool, listen, Liverpool, listen, Liverpool listen, have been you know Nelson. Time. And Man City are your Nelson. So you don't want Man City again because they'll just touch you up again. In, Side, in let me give you some context. Let me give you yeah, some context, Hyde. In my humble opinion, I think City would... Because, yeah, FA Cup's after the league. I think City would have the league title by then. You want to play that City with momentum and they could have a Champions League final to look forward to as well. You want to play that oh, Man City yeah. team you know and what? a Chelsea. That day... Chelsea. Listen, let me tell you something. No I chance. woke up 6am that day, That's yeah? That's crazy. I travelled all the way down in a car to London, yeah? I came home 1am. You see that feeling, losing to Man City, man? We have to... want to do it all over again. And, Want, yeah, yeah, exactly. You want to go yeah, for it again. But the end result, they, they, the end already, result will be already, that we are victorious. Yeah, Saeed, we are Saeed. victorious. That's what I want. You, yeah. They already boxed you 3-0. There already... ain't no good one as well. There ain't no good one. Nah, nah, nah. It, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't that, matter about yeah. that. There ain't no good one. They don't box you 3-0. You know what I'm saying? They boxed you 3-0 at yard already. They boxed you 3-0 at yard already. They beat you the other day at the had. You know, Man City is the last team that you want. You'd rather play us, if anything, you know, because we, we can't beat you. We still haven't beaten you. What is they can't get past Coventry you? first. They struggled against Newport, mate. Let's, yeah, let's yeah, by the way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm, 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 listen, I, yeah, yeah, respect respect Coventry, Coventry, man. I am not He's disrespecting better. Coventry, innit? Yeah, but I'm just saying, yeah, yeah. Man United, we, we have this, this, this weird thing with United. We play better than them, but they, they beat us somehow, yeah? The last game, obviously, you beat us in the last final. Conte, Conte, remember the Conte final, you beat us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hazard scored, innit? I'd rather play you. Yeah, Hazard. I think Hazard, Hazard yeah. scored that game. Yeah, I think he scored a penalty in it. He scored a pen. Yeah, yeah. not I remember that. Game. Yeah, Phil Jones red card. I think he was something like that. Yeah, I think he got yeah. a red card. Yeah. Um, Crazy let's though. get some super chats. I want to move on to Chelsea anyway, so let's get some super chats in, guys. 2.3k in the building. We need a thousand likes. Big up to Static, he says there's uh, 602 likes. Let's get that up to a thousand likes. ASAP, <laughs> big up to HN says, Tell them in Saeed, where does the Liverpool play on the Blestesion? <laughs> big up, bro. Hungarian <laughs> Steven Gerrard was absolutely woeful. My funny Saboz lie, sweet comet Saboz lie. Big up to you, bro. <laughs> Salah is fasting, yeah, man. Big up to Salah. Uh, SG says a Colombian most celiac is a bartender, not a footballer. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, big up to MUFC Kaz, Ron's you absolutely fraud. Can't answer your phone, avoid the group chat, but be the first one to troll. Big up the panel bar one, grab him up, people. Big up Kaz there. <laughs> uh, Southgate doesn't deserve managing the amount of talent. It's crazy, says Tarun. Uh, Garnacho's eight. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Big up oh, uh, um, the best thing Garnacho did was pass Ahmad on not shoot himself. I was scared he was going to be selfish and cost us again. Klopp can F off. Almost <laughs> almost this, almost that. Gone. Got done by 316 waste. I'm fuming. Jose would have cooked yesterday. Uh, what talent is he talking about? Don't you 
go after Enzo. Listen, we're gonna go after Chelsea now, man. Let's talk about Chelsea. You man, bro, it could have been it could have been different, you know, yesterday, you know. It could have been yeah. different yesterday. I can't lie to you. Bro, bro it <laughs> It could have, man. And listen, I could have been, a, I would have been completely different today because I was cussing in that second half. For me, it was a game of two halves, isn't it? It was a game of two halves, mm -hmm. yeah. And like I said to you lot in the group chat, I, I thought that game was more on the players than on Poch. Yeah. Because there's, there's certain personnel yesterday, his hands are tight. Look at Stel, look at yeah. Stel. Stel's grinning. His Stel's happy. Oh, <laughs> Poch, Poch coached a five-year win, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. He's going to come in and start doing up, you know, for, for Poch. But like I've said to Stel already, bro, there's certain games this season I've come on, I've, I've crashed it more in the players than Poch, but I've found myself speaking about Poch more than I have the players. So to me, that is a massive red flag and the guy's got <laughs> us in 11th. But anyway, this, let's talk about this game in isolation, yeah? For me, I don't like this pairing of Chalabar and Desasi. It reminds me, as, listen, it reminds me of Christensen and, and Zuma. Don I can I stop you, you right there quickly? Go on. Don, can I stop you right there quickly? What did I tell, mm. you, tell you a month ago? Desasi is a press trigger. When team, I bet teams are coached. When he gets the ball, just go at him. Because that, that's one of the worst own goals. That's one of the worst own goals I've ever seen. Ever seen. And I told yeah, you a month ago, he is a press trigger. Yeah, but Rob, Rob, and my, my rebuttal to that was the fact that he plays it into midfield. He plays what he sees. But what he's been doing recently since Thiago Silva's come out of the lineup, he's turned into Thiago Silva and he's dilly dallying <laughs> on the ball. Do you know what I'm saying? He's turned into Silva. But, bro, a big reason of that, yeah, is because we had Gallagher in the pivot, mm -hmm. yeah? Again, that's not Gallagher's fault for playing there because we didn't have anyone else in reserve. Poch decided to go send out Santos on loan, bring back Cassidy, who's a box crusher, Lavia, um, Leslie, these guys are all injured. So there's no one else that can play there. And you guys know Gallagher on that ball, on the half turn, when you press him in that pivot, he'll just lose the ball because he hasn't got that quality. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So every time Chalabar and Desarci kept getting the ball, they're looking in the, in the midfield and there's no one there. Gallagher's leaving leaving Caicedo by himself. That's why Palmer had to keep coming deep to get the ball. Do you know what I mean? So that centre-back pairing for me isn't it. But like I said, Badia Shield just came back from injury. He was, ne he was never going to start. Thiago Silva, I don't want him starting another game. So it is where it is. But I just wasn't feeling that pairing, you know? But the attack was more than good enough to beat Leicester. That's why in that first half, we kept attacking them, bro. We were, we were better than them in that first half. I didn't feel like they were doing anything. Um, up until Sanchez was getting the ball. Anytime Sanchez gets the ball, my heart goes up. You know what I mean? The guy just, he lives in his own world. He thinks he's got all this time in the world. I don't know if you guys saw when he had the ball and then um, Dakar nearly even got it off of him, right? Taking just so long mm. on the ball, like, like he's got all this time in the world. You know what I'm saying? But that right-hand side, Gusto and Palmer, just doing what they do week after week for us. Cucurella, I thought he was good as well. But the attack, bro, you know, from Jackson to Palmer, like I said, bro. Sterling was poor. Yeah, again, we need Sterling to talk cool. about him. Stop there, stop there. <laughs> Sterling, what is going on with Sterling? Like, generally, guys, yeah, this Sterling brother, man, he might have to go to Saudi Arabia, bro, after that. Performance. Oh, yeah, yeah, Saudi. I, I Saudi think Saudi I know the answer. It's I Saudi think time. I know the answer. I just feel he just can't be asked anymore. He's not going to get this money anywhere else, bar, bar Saudi. He's looking around the team thinking, I'm one of the seniors, but this, this team's not all that. He's on the decline himself. I just think he is not asked. He's getting paid. What is it done? 325 325 per what? week. 325, 325 per week. week. I just think he's lost that motivation. Like, you know what? You know what? I've won everything in my career by, by the Champions League. I'm just gonna relax mm -hmm. now. I'm just gonna ride off in the sunset of my payday. I just think he's not arts anymore. That's the simple answer yeah. with Raheem <clears> Sterling, in my opinion. He when he yeah. left City, I, I, he said he wanted to win the Ballon d'Or and, and the Champions League. And City, <laughs> well, he's crazy. City he's won the crazy. treble. City he's won crazy. the treble, he's crazy. man. He's crazy. You know, and, and the thing is, <laughs> at, at, at City, Sterling in his last season, yeah, he wasn't starting. He wasn't starting like that. He would start certain games, but more time he was yeah. on the bench. Yeah, Pep was phasing him out. Pep wanted him to stay, but in the end, obviously, Sterling had an opportunity to start somewhere else and still get over 300k a week. I don't think, yeah. I don't think, I don't think that's not what I've heard, bro, but okay, I've not heard that Pep wanted him to stay. That's not what I've heard. I mean, Pep, you know, uh, Pep, Pep, wow. Pep, came out, Pep, Pep came out and spoke about himself, so I'm only going off of his words. Don, Don, do you know how I know, do you know how I know Sterling's not arts as well? He's mm. gone to. A, he's from Northwest London. He's gone to a Southwest London club. He's closer to home as well. It, that deal was a match made in heaven for him. I just think he's lost that mm, motivation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for me, listen, this is what I've been saying about um, you know, when people speak to me about experience at the start of the season. Oh well, Sterling has to start because you've got a lack of experience. Or Silva has to start because you've got a lack of experience. And I kept telling them, bro, I want experience with quality. Don't tell me about guys that are twenty nine but still play like they're eighteen. You know what I mean? Mm. Sterling plays like he just jumped out of the reserves, bro, like at times. Yeah. And then and then he'll do what he did for Palmer's goal when he assisted him. Yeah. That's the that I like. But I don't 
don't That's see that side of Sterling enough consistently. Yeah, and this season, bro, he's got some goals, he's got some assists, he's cooked Kyle Walker, both games have played them. He's cooked certain man, West Ham. I can remember Liverpool, he played well, but don't. it's just he just doesn't do it enough, yeah. So yeah. For the money that we're paying and the experience that he's got, it's not good enough, yeah. And he's had guys like Mudrick on the bench, even though Mudrick will score a goal. And then he gets benched for Sterling, you know, week after week. Even after last week, how the hell did he start again, bro? You know what I mean? Madweki really and truly should have started. And then Mudrik should have started on the left. Do you know what I'm saying? So did you lose that's, game, how, that's how Don, I look at it. Don, did Don, you lose you know game? That? Wait, hold on, hold on, Stel. Hold on, Stel. Hold on, Stel. Hold on. Don, quickly, so, 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 you know just because, we, just you know because we won the game, I should ignore what Sterling was doing then, yeah? Is that what you're saying? We're talking about Sterling Don, right Don, now. Don, so Don, I'll talk about it. Can I speak on Sterling's um, free kick still? That's oh, just man. landed in Craven. That's just That's landed in Craven six, Cottage. Up, that that free kick has just landed. That free kick has just landed in Craven Cottage. What the hell was he thinking, bro? <laughs> that went out the stadium, bro. I, I can't crazy. believe it. He took the penalty even against um Arsenal. Yeah, when we played Arsenal, when we got the pen, this guy wanted to take it. Palmer took it off of him, bro. But yesterday, Palmer said, "You know what? I'm gonna allow you in it. Just take it." Bro, what type of penalty was that as well? Man literally just gave him a back pass, basically. It was so it was so he, bad. But, but, you know? but he got an assist. That's, 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 that's not assist. even that's not even good enough. <laughs> I, I was like, listen, when, when he scored that, Lee, I literally tweeted, yeah. I was like, bro, cool, fair enough in it, yeah. But I still want you to come mm. off at half time because you're grenade football. I keep telling you lot, it blows up at his feet, bro. When he gets the ball, he just loses <laughs> it. You know, there was even a, a, a shot that Mudrik had, yeah. The ball was going in. Sterling just stood there. I don't know if you love Sterling. He stood in the way and blocked it. He stood in the way and blocked it. And the keeper was done for, bro. The, that ball was going into the bottom left. You know what I mean? So for me, he has to be one of the first people that leaves the club in it. Because like, like Roms has said, the motivation is not there. He's won it all. He's still earning over 300k a week. <laughs> you know, he just doesn't, he doesn't suit what we're trying to do going forward. It just seems like, you know, he's just sticking around now. Modric is ready to step up, man. That's it. Now your yeah, guys yeah, ready to step I, up. I, yeah, I need, I need my guy. I need, I need, I need, I, Saeed, my guy played well again. You know, he had a good game. And when he came off, they were booing, bro. The fans were booing that when he got taken off before Sterling. Poch came out you after don't know saying, what you're doing. saying um, yeah, you don't know what you're doing. You know, Poch came out saying, oh, I know what I'm doing and that. And apparently he was tired or whatever. I don't know, really. But anyway, you know, big up, big up. Don, did he get, did he get arrested this time? You just said he was tired. Did he get arrested this time? Because didn't Pot say before the cup final, players didn't even sleep or something. So players, didn't, yeah, <laughs> players, players, didn't even, players didn't even sleep. Yeah, but hey, honestly, bro. But listen, that second half, bro. Wow. That second, yeah. So look, going into the second half here, yeah, I just felt like we were cruising. I was looking at it like how many we're going to get today. Even though I'm not happy with the back and how we're building up. When we pop, when we get past that phase with Palmer when he's helping us in attack, we look dangerous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then straight away, how many times am I going to keep speaking about individual mistakes, bro? You know, when we, it's always this RC or this person or that person at the back. First of all, I don't know why Sanchez is so far off of his line as well. What was, what, what, what was he doing? What was he doing? Yeah. I told you about that <laughs> no time ago, bro, on top goal. six. And you told me that Sanchez was a good goalkeeper, man. I said, bro, I said, he's a good shot stopper is what I said. Yeah, he because he shot stopping. He shot stopping. Oh, yeah, he shot stopping. Nah, nah, he's more than he shot stopping. He shot stopping before. Yeah, but he no, people say he's a good shot stopper as a goalkeeper. That's his job. Yeah, but Lee, what, what I'm saying is LB is wasn't trying job? to give him. What I'm saying, Lee, yeah, is LB wasn't trying to give him any credit whatsoever. I heard what LB was saying because I was like, listen, I don't think Sanchez, he's a good goalkeeper. I think he's a, nah, I think nah, he's a, nah, nah, nah. a said, low average goalkeeper. I said, you bro, said, I, I said he's a good goalkeeper. He's not. No, I, I, bro, I said he's decent. I said he's decent and his shot stopping is good. I don't think he is decent. Yeah? Does anyone on this no, panel he's think trash. he's decent? He's yeah, but decent. LB, you're, you're nah, not listening to trash. LB, you're not listening to what I'm saying. Before he got injured yeah, at that point. hypocrisy right now. At that point, LB. Wait, hold on, LB. LB, yeah. Um, before, like I said, before he got injured, yeah, his shot stopping was actually quite good. Like I said, his shot stopping was good. It's only his distribution that used to scare me, yeah. Where, like, 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 remember against Arsenal when he literally gave the ball to Declan Rice? It's those situations that were scaring me. But I wasn't, I wasn't like when when I saw him in goal, I wasn't, I wasn't pissed off about it in terms of his shot stopping. It was actually decent. But now it's getting worse. Petrovic has actually got better shot stopping, in my opinion, in it. Do you know what I'm saying, right? But like I said, in that second half, just a lack of control. Ping pong football again, bro. Ping pong football up and down, up and down. I'm just, I'm just scared now. You know, after this RC put pressure on the team for no reason, basically. I felt like they were gonna score in that first half. I didn't feel like Leicester were gonna score, but after that goal went in, I said, yeah, it's peak for us. And it's mad because I literally tweeted um, when Sterling missed the penalty. We are masters of our own downfall. That's why I'm so annoyed by that penalty miss because something is gonna happen where it's our own doing. You know, and then what's his name? Mavididi, Mavididi. Giving Gusto those Ooh. steps, I ain't seen Gusto get done like that. Yeah, and my man just did R one circle finesse shot. Yeah, <laughs> top bins. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nice goal, very nice goal. I'm looking at it like we've done it again. Yeah, and personally for me, Saeed, listen, I think you're right, bro. 
if they did not get that red card from Jackson's brilliant, you know, moment in that moment there, yeah, when we was attacking them, I think we'll lose the game. I'll be real with you. I think we'll lose the game. I just know this team too well. And we would have we would have just crumbled. We would have crumbled. It took a little bit of individual quality in the end from uh, Palmer and Carney, yeah? That assist for Carney's goal, by the way. Carney needs more time. Yo. I've said this to you a lot. Of time. Yeah, Carney player, needs more man. minutes. He's a good I like player, him. man. Carney, all it is with Carney is that he, he can't stay fit because when he when this guy's playing, bro, he reminds me of Loftus Cheek, the way he drives into space. Yeah, he mm. runs with the ball and he's physical, bro. The guy's 20. He doesn't look like a 20 year old, bro. Even I'm already seeing how, how different he is physically in comparison to last year. You know, his link up play very tidy in and around the box. First game of the season, Roms, he played against you lot, bro. He played well. Yeah, he played yeah, against West yeah. Ham. He scored even, and even he the injured. game after that. Yeah, West Ham. He came. West Ham, did he, he scored. Score? Oh, he scored. On. No, he, yeah, he yeah. started. He scored and then he got injured and then we went downhill after that. Yeah, in that game. Yeah. So Carney, he's another one that I'm, yeah. I've, I'm impressed with. You know, and like I said, big up Poch for the for the subs and bringing on Madweki and bringing on um what's his name? Uh, <laughs> who was it that he brought? Bringing on Madweki and bringing on um Carney because like I said, it showed that he was trying to attack and win the game in it. Do you know what I mean? I thought they did really well when they when they both came on and mm. Madweki's goal as well, bro. Madweki's what goal. goal. What a goal, by what the way. Goal. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I was leaving, goal, I was leaving the best till last anyway, because this is a guy that I want to speak about, isn't it? Cole Palmer, bro, yeah. Speak by Cole bro, Palmer. When I when I was speaking like... about this guy in the summer, I said this guy is one of the most polished guys I've seen at 21. I was getting cooked. Oh, 45 million for a guy that hasn't even scored a Premier League goal. 45 <clears> million for a guy that's just bench like warming the bench. Bro, I was getting called deluded. I was getting called all sorts. I said, bro, this guy's gonna prove so many doubters wrong, yeah. Every time I've watched him for Man City in the Carabao Cup or the FA Cup, he never looks out of place. When I watch him play with Palmer for England and Madwaki and that for England, sorry, when I, when I watch him play with Madwaki and them lot for England, he never looks out of place, yeah? He just, he's very, his IQ is beyond his years for someone that's 21. I knew he was going to be serious for us, not at this level in terms mm. of the GNA. I didn't know he was going to get this many, but I was bigging him up. They were cooking me on never a foul. They were cooking me on the terrace, as always, do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But look what he's doing, bro. This guy's ability is just ridiculous, bro. The goals that he gets, the assists that he gets, the amount of clear-cut chances he he um he he creates for us. Because when we bought him, Pep, uh, I'm calling him Pep now. God forbid, Poch wasn't even starting this guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You wish you had Pep. I wish. I wish. Bro. When, at the back of your head, you know. At the back of your head, you when, know. You know when, bro, when Palmer first came in, yeah, uh, Poch wasn't even starting him because it was, he was signed by Joe Shields. Poch didn't want uh, Palmer. He was like, we've got too many attackers. And Joe Shields said, nah, 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 forget that. I'm bringing him in. Yeah, so he came in because of Joe Shields. And honestly, bro, as soon as he came into the lineup, we started to create better chances for the attackers. Because before that, I wasn't happy okay. with how we were playing. I wasn't seeing clear-cut chances created, uh, created consistently. Yeah, this guy, it's, it's unbelievable, bro, the way he plays. Like I said- So how long is he staying there before Man City buy him back? Ah, uh, bro. <laughs> The question nah, is how much. Is, back, the man. question is the question is how much is he worth now? You know what I'm saying. The question is how much is he worth? Right. For, quick little forty five. You know how much is Palmer worth re re realistically right now? You, you know, know what? what you know, give you a bargain, man. You know, that's a bargain. You know what, Lee, Lee, Lee. No, go on, still, go on, still. I was going to ask, is there is there a clause in the contract where City get first dibs? I was going to ask the same I don't thing. Think so. I was going to. I don't think there is. I don't think there is, man. Because you know what is well done, yeah. This this happens with all the best players. Chelsea, in my opinion, aren't winning. The one of the big two in any any time soon. The more this carries on, Lee Lee's obviously said that kind of tongue in cheek, but there could be truth to it. He's then going to be looking elsewhere because if he's not winning anything big at Chelsea, it happens with every player. That's why big clubs keep their big clubs that win things keep their players because they're continually. That's why City were able to yeah. keep the likes of Aguero, David Silva, all of them in their prime because City kept winning every year. But in my opinion, because you aren't going to win anything big soon, he could he could be off. I'll say next two, three years, man. Bro, well, listen, we, we, we've got to fix up. There's a lot of time to fix up, yeah? Like, I think you're going a little bit too early in terms of, like, him leaving and that because it's only his first year in. For me, I'm excited to see him with a lot of key players that we've missed this season. Guys like Lavia. He's already played with Lavia. Man City, they're boys. They know each other. Guys that guy like alive, by the way. Is he alive? Is he alive, Lavia? Is he uh, alive? Bro, is he yeah, how's he doing? I, I, think, I think hopefully he'll be back after the international break, innit? You know what I mean? For me, I've written him off this season. I think, for me, I just want to see him next year. But he's bro. a big baller. Big, big miss. Yeah, honestly, the guy, like I said, for me, Lavia, top signing, yeah? But we just haven't seen enough of him. And then guys, like I said, guys like Fofana to come into the team, guys like Reese James, and I know they're injury prone, but there's a lot of key players that we're missing. So I actually want to see him with yeah. a striker as well, bro, because the amount of chances he's given Jackson and Jackson's missed or Sterling and Sterling's missed. 
he's going to get even more assists if we get someone like an Osimhen, for example. Because yep. the, the chances that Palmer creates, honestly, they're, they're easy chances to score. That's what you want. Like, he literally feeds you so you can just eat. Do you know what I'm saying? But honestly, man, top, top signing. And this guy, for me, bro, certain man, if they're not performing in the Euros, he's got to start ahead of them, innit? That's all I'm going to say about that one, so bro. Don, if, if certain man ain't performing in the Euros, he has to start ahead of them, bro. He has to. So, so Don, I know exactly who he is. Palmer, right, they can create chances and he, and, he, and, he, and he feeds the forward line. If Chelsea had a, a really, really good striker, would you see? Would you think you'd have better results at your club then? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Because like I said, it's a combination of missed chances, it's a combination of mismanagement, it's a combination of shit lineups. It's everything, bro. You know, you, you keep thinking I'm blaming just Poch. I'm blaming everyone. No, everyone. Don't ask. Mm. no but you know, it seems like you're. It seems like you've got a loaded. No, no, it seems you like you've got a loaded question. Mm. It seems like you've got a loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, that, that, yeah, question, yeah, yeah. That, that question seemed that, that question seemed quite loaded, bro. I'm, I'm, bro, there's there's many games we won this this year if we had a striker. Bro. That's of because that's because right. Every week we talk about the same things, and I'm just asking, and and, and I always bring it back to I think Chelsea in the league. When I watch a lot of there's two teams that I think miss so many chances: Luton Town and Chelsea. When I see them play, I think Do you know what they create enough to win games. Okay, mm. Luton. They've got a poor attacking line. Still, Everton as well. Everton, chuck Everton in there. They miss a bunch of chances every week. Oh, yeah, All they're, right. they're shocking. Yeah. They, need to, they need to go down. I'm tired of them. I well. try, listen, I believe, I believe you. I just, I, I haven't watched enough of Everton to know. So, but yeah, listen, you watch them, you know. But I just feel, and that's why I asked you the question, because just because I think it, you might not think the same. If you had a striker, I think a lot of your results change this season. And I think yeah. you'd be in a much different place. That's why I asked the question. It's got nothing to do with tactics or formation. But I do mm. think you'd feel differently if you're winning more games. Because like most yeah. fans, results make us feel better. Like even mm. Spurs mm. start the season, we were winning, 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 top of the league. The performances weren't magnificent, but because we're getting the results, yeah, yeah, we're cooking. Hold on a minute. That's I just I just think you'd feel better if you had a, stri a good striker. Yeah, like, no, no, facts. If you signed Kane, I think you lot would be... Yeah. It'd feel a lot better if you had a better manager as well, to be fair. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <That> also, <laughs> I, I feel, I feel <laughs> a lot better if I... I, I feel, I'd feel a lot better if I had a better manager <laughs> and, and, uh, and and a better striker. And listen, let me let me even talk about uh, uh, someone that's playing up front for us right now. Yeah, Jackson. Yeah, because Jackson, my fan yeah. base... Chelsea fans are the, one of the most reactionary guys... It, it just makes me sick. I'll go for the team. All fans are. All, all I mean, fans yeah, are. That's not all, just Chelsea all, fans. Most yeah, fans like all, all reactionary fans just really annoy me because one thing that they used to say about Jackson is he's shit, mm. you know, just because he's not a, a, a clinical finisher. But if you look at how he plays the game, his all-round play, his link-up, right, and how, he, how he's important to how we play. Like I said, for me, it's not his fault that he's starting week in, week out. That's the owners. you got to look upstairs for that. But what Jackson offers us mm. when he's playing, bro, yeah, the little link-ups, the little touches around the corner. Like I said, what he did before the guy got the red card. Bro. Brilliant, bro. Brilliant. You know what I'm saying? And he's, he's even... He's a winger, he's winger, he's he's a winger. Even... video bro. sent, man. Man's been on fire, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? He's nah, had that motivation. Nah, nah. He's had that <laughs> 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 And bro, I can't yeah, even yeah, lie to yeah, you, yeah. yeah. I'm, seeing, I'm seeing big improvements um, in comparison <laughs> to, the start, to the start of the season. You know, he missed another big chance um yesterday. Yeah, like it was, a, bro. He should have scored it. Yeah, yeah. but overall, bro, he's just how he plays the game. Even against Man City, remember that that um that little flick he gave to um to Palmer. Yeah, before he whipped no to yeah. Gusto before he whipped it in for for the goal for Sterling against Man City. That's what Jackson does, bro. And when he went Afcon, we missed him. You know, I'm not saying he's world class. I just look at him and I say, yeah, there's something to work with him. I think it's good, man. I think it's good. So big up Jackson. Another good performance from him, man. Yeah, no, hundred percent, man, hundred percent. Big up to Chelsea. Obviously, they play Man City. It's just, do you, do you have any hope? Are you, do you think you're gonna beat them, Don? Are you confident? Bro, you, what's he saying? What it is about Man City? I'm not scared of Man City. I'm scared of my team and my manager. Is what I'm scared of. Wow. Yeah, because I, I don't know what what Chelsea are gonna turn. Does that up make sense? There. You know. Does that make bro, sense? Someone, guys? Bro, someone, someone clip this. Someone. Clip I'm not, this. bro. I, you can clip it because <laughs> I've got I've got clear evidence. When we played them at the Bridge four four, you know, arguably. I can say don't, that we should have. Don't, don't, don't. There's, 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 there's a common denominator here. Where mm. is the game being held? Just simple answer. Where's the Wembley. game being held? Bro, it's at Wembley. But listen, let me hit you with your yeah, favorite line. Wembley. Let me hit you with your favorite line. Yeah, there's there's, there's records to be to be broken and whatnot. You know that line, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? There's records yeah, to be broken. Like, like, they're, I'm, they're, I'm they're, with, they're doing it for watch. The trophies mean yeah. more. And we keep we keep getting to finals. Keep... <laughs> and Roms, as much as you don't like it, bro, we keep getting to finals. You know, semi-finals ain't the problem for us right now. It's, it's, it's getting over the line. Said, 
Chelsea are, even if you're down yeah. in a dump spot or whatnot, you are a good cup team. And the proofs in the pudding, you got to the final of the Carabao and now at the semi-final of, of the FA Cup, you are a cup team. That's one thing no one can take away from Chelsea, but you just have to go on and win it now. That's, yeah, that, yeah. That's literally and, it. and you know, like I said, Man City, they, they concede a lot of chances, isn't it? It's just like, for me, I'm looking at my team, like, who's going to step up in front of goal? Sterling, he's bossed Man City every time he's played them. You know, he needs to turn up again, yeah. you know? There's certain things I'm looking at there, isn't it? Like, we can beat them. On our day, we can beat them. But it's, it's what Chelsea are going to turn up. They haven't beaten us this year. They have not They have not beaten us this year. You know what I'm saying? It's been it's been a tight you, game. Both games. Beat, you've not beaten us either, just FYI. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. We've got a chance of beating you. And that's what I'm saying. We've got a chance of beating you. They fucking trash in both games and didn't lose either of them. We made you play like that. That's why. That's oh, why. you made us play like that. <laughs> especially that. Oh, especially... Oh, no, hey. Hey, listen. You made us... Oh, your, boy, sorry, your, boy Rodri, your boy, Rodri. Your boy, Rodri, in the first man. game... Your boy Rodri in the first game weren't getting no <laughs> time or space on the ball because Gallagher was just pressing the, the fuck out of him. Even in the second game, he literally had to push Gallagher off the ball because Gallagher was not letting him rest, bro. You know, Rodri don't don't like playing against Gallagher because Gallagher does not give him no time on the ball. Do you know what I'm saying? Rodri so, doesn't so congratulations like playing against Gallagher. Draws, Are we hearing this? It doesn't. Bro, listen. He doesn't, bro. I'll, I'll be real with you. He doesn't like playing against Gallagher, bro. Because every time, bro, he presses him. He doesn't give him any time on the ball. You know what? Mm. We need that meme. You know what I mean? Right that. That. <laughs> you know Ooh. when you play oh, you're hard. Yet, you're hard. And, and, and you exactly. Took off, man. Took off. <laughs> Shiver me timbers. <laughs> Shiver me timbers. Yeah, that that means. Listen. That <laughs> Listen, people. You know, we're going to move on. That's right. Go, go. No, no. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it, Stel. Go for it. I was just going to say to Don, like, before you played them at the Etihad, you were predicting a loss and you were, like, that doubtful. And I sat here and I said to you guys, I'm not trying to defend him. I'm not bigging him up. I'm just stating a fact. I don't know how he does it. Potch has got a brilliant record against Man City. He's And, and this semi-final is going to be interesting because I, I, I'm, I bet you Chelsea turn up in this semi-final. I'm not saying you'll win it, but you will turn up in this semi-final and you probably will ride your luck. I would not be surprised if Chelsea knock out Man City, guys. I would not be surprised one bit. No, you know what it we'll is, though? For, nah. for Chelsea fans, it like you know, you're saying they'll turn off or whatnot because I don't think City will batter them, I think City will go through, but then for them, it's like, yeah, nice day out and that. But where's the result? Do you know what I mean? I think turning up now is not enough for Chelsea fans, they actually want something to show for it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. What, it is, yeah, what it is, what it is, what it, what it is, Roms, yeah, we can't, we gotta go, we gotta go to Wembley and we've got to have the mentality that we're gonna beat them, yeah, not we can beat them, we're gonna beat Don't them you? because when we when we played you lot, bro, we were set up. Like perfectly fine. It was the the nerves got to the players. Yeah, Enzo and was one nervous. thing I'll say, Gusto was nervous. Need, you know what I'm saying? They need their six to eight hours sleep because when Pot said, <laughs> "Oh, between me and you," they need their rest for the seven time. You know the irony, Don. You know the irony of that. Between he says, "Between me and you," then he proceeds to tell the whole media, the whole world. <laughs> I, I was laughing when I heard that. I was laughing. It was crazy. It's crazy. What he said after crazy it, 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 this is how you know this guy is a fraud. Right? His words, and I quote. <laughs> Yeah, and I quote, people should understand that we're building a new Chelsea. Well, first and foremost, you didn't need to build a new Chelsea. You just needed to add, in, add to the Chelsea that was already there. Yep. Um, now look, nine months here, we go to Wembley two times in two different competitions. We need to enjoy and we need to trust more. Bro, I swear, so many of the comments are like, yo, yeah, how about <laughs> a trophy? We don't care about going to Wembley. Yeah, we care about trophies. Yeah, trophies, this guy is a fraud. An absolute okay. fraud. He has got to be one of the most overhyped managers I've, I've ever seen in my life watching football. Lee, I'll tell you what's going to happen, right? You know. I'll tell you what's going right? to happen. It's going to be a Coventry Chelsea final and Coventry lift in the cup. Hey, listen, if, listen, Coventry, if they, they win that. They deserve it, man. Big up to Coventry, man. Boy, yeah. But listen, we're going to move on. Uh, big up to Ty says, Say, bro, Calmo, we need to shit that team. Uh, Chelsea in the final need to take the dogs for a walk again. Sterling moving like Kimio's misses shaking that. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Bomb 24 uh, 7. Big up to Anafi. Big up to Scarlett. Says, Don't worry. City will smoke at Wembley and Potts will surely get sacked. I'm counting on you, LB. Cole Palmer is Lee's son. Lee that's trading mad. well. <laughs> Lee, did you see Echeverry go last night? Uh, I'm guessing the guy that's going to be coming to Man City soon from Argentina. But listen, Tottenham get battered everywhere they everywhere go. They go. Tottenham, everywhere they go. get battered everywhere, everywhere they go. Everywhere they go. Everywhere they go. Everywhere they go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't lie. Going to the cottage away ain't for everyone, man. Arsenal struggled over there. You know, Spurs, they struggled over there. You're what shameless. Happened, You're what happened, man? <laughs> hey, this, uh, that's to make it all Bro, Don't worry, mate. Don't worry, mate. It's full pain of prize, mate. 
We do there We won we won things in the past, so I want to earn it. Bro, what have you won in the past, man? What have Tottenham won in the past? Lee Cuff and that. Get out of here, man. <laughs> hey, Stones deep in life. Stones deep in life. Chat to us, man. <laughs> this guy hey, was on, on his WhatsApp. You know I was killing me the other day on his WhatsApp. Laugh. On his WhatsApp, yeah. I don't know. You've got a business account or something, yeah. I clicked on the profile. I'm just seeing clothes now. <laughs> this guy was not replying to us. <laughs> 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 I was actually dying. <laughs> 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 I know, man. Uh, you know, you know, you know. Funny. You got destroyed. <laughs> should have been more, by the way. Should have been more than three nil. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, should have. For, for, first of all, I got. I, I, I'm. I'm gonna say it, man. <clears throat> Fulham, Fulham were were brilliant. They they. Yeah. Paulinia, Paulinia, picked on us in that midfield. Um, that guy that played next to him, Lukic. I've never heard of him. He had a brilliant game for them as well. I was them two in the middle. I was. I'm just thinking, what is going on here? We've got our best three, Basuma, Sar, Madison on the pitch. There's no excuses, Spurs, and they ran us. They ran us. That that the left back, the American Robinson. Woo! Quality. He's good. Yeah, you know. he's, he's good. He's very good. He's very good. Um, we were actually talking about him before we signed a dogie. I'm not upset we got a dogie. I like a dogie, but I just want to give him props. Um, we're looking at look, him. Looking at left back. Chelsea, actually, Chelsea Wobie looking at him right now. A dogie got absolutely is... dog walked by a Wobi. Yeah, a Wobi walking past him, bro. <laughs> this guy's been hyped up to the moon and back. Oh, we got destiny. A dogie, yeah, good one. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I think uh, you can look at it two ways. Either one, you get games where no, it's just it goes wrong, like bad day at the office. Like we, no team has played. That was our worst performance of the season, bar none. That was the worst performance where yeah. every single player on the pitch was was gash. Even the players that came on were just. You could put it down to that, or, and it's kind of the angle I went down. And it's caused a massive stir in the Spurs community. I don't care. I say it as I see it. If it if it worries, if people don't like it, then just don't listen to me. Block me. I don't. I really don't care. Nothing has changed. I got humbled on the weekend. Like nothing has changed. It it doesn't. It. it I feel like <clears throat> when a big moment comes, we collapse. And it, it's a mentality throughout the club. And Ange has not changed that mentality. He hasn't. Um. We had the Carabao Cup game this season where we played Fulham away. They beat us. Oh, yeah. They beat I forgot us. about that. Oh, yes. Yeah. The next yeah. day, Everyone... Daniel Levy came out of the fans room and said, don't worry, guys, we've got our Tottenham back. <laughs> <laughs> Literally the day after. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Who took it away, days. Levy? Who took Tottenham away, right? <laughs> you take it away, then you say to the fans, we've got it back. You create it anyway. Then we played Man City in the FA Cup. We're at home. <laughs> they, they haven't scored at our ground right we put in a shocking performance City ran us ragged 1-0 does not does not show a true reflection of what happened that game that should Facts. have been 3-3 as well Facts. then you think oh, that's two big games and for me as a Spurs fan who's desperate for trophies man like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm almost at the point of changing football clubs because it's not going to happen why am I supporting them <laughs> All right, what is the, what, where are we going with this? <laughs> they, they, they take that from us as well. Then, then we have another big game of the season. We, we're unbeaten in 10. We're top of the table. The worst Chelsea team in 20 years rock up at our manor. Let's put it on them. Let's bury Chelsea. Let's, let's finish them off. It couldn't have gone any worse if we tried. We, we capitulated mentally. We lost our focus. We, we, the red cards, were, they were red cards. Because mentally we collapsed, and you know uh, Donny's best best favorite player, Action Jackson, puts a hat trick past us. It's like how how have you choked, man? They're not even good. And then on the weekend, uh, the game in hand. Let's get top four. Let's take that fourth spot. Let's put real pressure on Villa. Let's pull away from United. And Fulham absolutely played us off the park in every position. It's like. It can't keep happening, these big moments. And for me to say, do you know what? I'm going to buy into what a lot of Spurs fans say. We're going in the right direction. A couple of weeks ago, I said, we're going in the right way. And Lee Gunner, you said, hold on a minute. Let's compare this stage of the season to Conte. And we were actually the same. All right. We are now 10 games to go. Uh, Conte got sacked with 10 games to go. We are one place worse off than when Conte was. 
And we have, uh, we're on course to concede more goals than what Conte's team conceded. We're scoring more, but we're conceding wow. more. The reality is, we, have, we haven't, nothing's changed. Fair enough, Conte had Harry Kane. And we are missing him. I don't. When Spurs fans say we're better without him, shut up. How can you be better with a world? How are you better without a world world class player? It's, it's such a. Let's all be happy together and justify the best player we've ever had in ten years leaving the club. It's it's a nonsense. But yes, we do have a better defence. We our defenders are better than Eric Dyer, Ben Davies, Clement Longley that Conte had. So when I look at it, there's many reasons we lost this game. Fulham's tactics outdid us. That our fullbacks got caught high up, and just like Brentford did to us in the first game of the season, put the ball into those wide areas behind the fullbacks. There's no one there to recover, and they pulled us apart by doing that. Um, and they won the midfield battle. Basuma went missing, uh, Saar misplacing passes. The the two centre backs first time playing next to it, next to each other. You can tell Dragerson didn't know where to go because he's used to playing in a back three at Genoa. He's coming to a back two. He's trying to suss it out. He got caught out for the first goal. Probably the second goal as well. There's there's a lot that went wrong. And then I look up. They're calling, they're calling him. They're, uh, they're calling him Vuj on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Dragonson from Genoa. Nobody's ever heard of him. Yeah. And listen, I've not watched a lot of Genoa. You know, I mean, in my time. Yeah. Good. He's but a good Bro-ski. defender. He is a good defender, but Broski man got ragged. Man got told, welcome to the Premier League, lads. Exactly. But I don't think it was all his fault. It was your midfield. Your midfield got done over, man. Paulinho is so underrated, man. I'm taking Paulinho to somebody if he's yeah, available, he's man. Very good. If we talk about his age, Same. man, it's got it's got about yo, bro, he's got about a thousand long. I, I, I hate this. Running. I hate this. People think the minute you're in and around 30, it's like it's FIFA, your value goes down and what no. He's still a quality player. He's still got three or four years left top in the game. Easy. Man. That's, quality. that's because everyone's been conned into thinking that it's Epstein FC in the Premier League and it takes time <laughs> and you have to build something and you have to get all of your own players and they all have to be under 23. Yeah, and then you all grow together. Like, what is this? Like, well, we're in school. Crazy. It's crazy. Like, we're all going to graduate like, together. <laughs> like, what's going on here? My, my, my biggest gripe, <laughs> my biggest gripe with this game, and this is where it blew up, and I, I went on the, the biggest Spurs fan channel. Uh, I did, I called in, and there's about 500 comments on my video all hating me. They all hate me because I, of what I said. And I, I, and I said, and this yeah. is what's I, I, negative. Why don't you ever walk down the Emirates? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're a gooner. And, and, and I said it on the show and I'll say it here. The scary Emirates. That is. If, 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 <laughs> <laughs> if Ange Postacoglu this summer signs Imo Werner on a long term deal, I am Ange out. I am 100% Ange out because. Ooh, wow. Sign, no, listen, Saeed. Oh, big claim. Forward, with, with, with players like this, we are deluded. You, even though we were terrible, I said to you, worst game of the season, we could have got something from this game. And, and this is where top teams, um, they, they, they grab something where the teams that aren't as good don't. Perfect example. Chelsea had Arsenal in their back pocket at Stamford Bridge. Arsenal had nothing in that game. Yet somehow, hook by crook, Arsenal got something out of that game. That's a good team mm. can do that, mm. right? We could have got something out of this game. Three of the best chances, the best click-up chances in that game fell to Tottenham. Brennan Johnson. Oh, this guy, man. What <laughs> you really hate him, innit? You don't like this guy at all, man. <laughs> 50 million pounds. He's one-on-one with the goalkeeper. You are six yards out. There's four corners. Top bins, bottom bin. Four corners of the goal. Just put it there. We go one nil up. He p rolls it to the goalie. He p rolls it to the goalie. Second half, bro. We're two nil down. Three nil down. We we had two open goal tappings, and I mean tappings. If this is the goal line, this is the ball. Touch the ball. It's in. Brennan Johnson misses the ball, and then Turbo Turbo Wiener. <laughs> right. <laughs> this guy that the. the the biggest Spurs YouTubers, the, the go-to, the go-to for knowledge on Spurs who, who get all the Sky Sports coverage and the Talk Sports coverage. The same voices that said, Timo Werner, brilliant bit of business, good signing. He comes off the pit, the ball goes across the goal line, back post. Even if he trips over and it hits his ass, it's a goal. He hits it wide. He 
was so bad. Six yards wide as well from two yeah. yards out. Open it goal. It was so bad. It was so bad. Big up Tobes as well, because I'm sure he was one of the guys Saeed, that was saying um, like he doesn't want Werner and whatnot, and the guy's mm. not going to change. And I was yeah. saying the exact same thing, but yeah. you had you had certain Spurs fans online and whatnot coming on and, and trying to paint this narrative that oh yeah, no, nah, and can get something out of him. Bro, this is what Werner is, man. This is what he Prince, is. He's got two left. Don, you know, he's not going to change. Don, it's you know, it's as simple as this. And so, I hate, I'm hated for saying these things. And and we, we've got this <clears throat> Spurs right now where rather than just letting things play out, let, let this play out and let's see where we go with it. We get a little bit of excitement. We're back. We've got our Tottenham back. Give it two years, we're cooking. We're going to win the league. It's like you are building us up for another fall. Let this play out. I still think, by the way, we're going to get Champions League. I don't think this game means that's it. We're out of Champions League. I think we will get it. I do believe Same. we will in enough games, get enough points to get Champions League. Even if it means finishing fifth and this year fifth place gets you Champions League. I think we'll find a way to do it. But mm. I am not putting on this bandwagon that we are going to be this Champions uh, League team um, and we're going to be this title contending team with players like Timo Werner and Brennan Johnson in the attacking lineup. It's not happening, Tottenham fans. And if you want to defend it and say, no, give Johnson time, Werner's going to come good. If we keep these players long time, uh, long term, including Timo Werner, listen, Ange, you've become a yes man and you are doing what you're told. Or you can't see how bad this player is and you're keeping a player that's going to cost us in the future. And that's why I said, if we sign him long term, I man out because I know where it's going to end. We can't keep having players at Spurs like this and thinking we're going to challenge Arsenal and <laughs> City and Liverpool. Can I, can I just say as well, you fifth doesn't get you Champions that. League. Fifth don't get you Champions League. And I'll tell you why. Right? Because if Bayern Munich knock Arsenal out and Dortmund knock mm -hmm. West Ham out, yeah, there ain't no fifth fourth. place coming. Wait, Dortmund. Yeah, Dortmund. it's fourth. Fair enough. Yeah, Leverkusen. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but even, but let's not forget this. Three. Well, there's them three teams right there. Yeah. I don't think Dortmund are beat out there, although they were dead last night. And Barca battered them. Yeah. But I don't see Dortmund getting through. But Bayern Munich's in the balance. Yeah. And Leverkusen are knocking West out. West Ham out. So that put their coefficient up. Italy's already gone anyway. Yeah. So I don't see fifth mm. getting it. I don't. I just don't see it. Oh, right. Lee, I think if I say this to you, Lee, if I say this to you, if I say this to you, you still get let's say if, off. I think that I was going to say if off. if City was to win the Champions League or even you lot and then us to win the Europa League, wouldn't two competitions one? Great. And let's say yeah, let's say Villa, let's say Villa win the conference as well because. Don't forget, because I think that helps yeah, if Villa are winning that. that. Villa are winning that. If all three of us, if, all, yeah. if an English team yeah. wins each individual European competition, then I think fifth place must be a set. Yeah. I don't really it's know how the points work. It's on but... us, drums, basically. we got to help these guys, yeah, to try and get Champions League. <laughs> yeah, now, yeah, we've got to try and help Tottenham. I don't want fit. no help, man. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want no help. You know what, if you're not... <laughs> if you're not <laughs> we're, 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 I don't want no help. Big six, right? We're the poor brother. You've got, you've got to help us out a little bit, you know? We yeah. don't, no, I was going to say... No, no, sometimes you get stand on your own two feet, man. Come on, like we've been helping you out for years and you're still bottling. <laughs> <it. laughs> At some I'm point, you lost enough, lads. Do you know what I'm see, saying? You see, no, see Timo Werner. You see, you see Timo Werner, yeah? It's as simple as this. The fact that, and this screams volumes, the fact that the club where he made his name at don't even want him anymore and binned him back straight away. Know, he literally went back to them and loaned him straight away. That speaks <clears> volumes. Because I remember being on the terms of LB That's... and we were both saying... This Werner move is not good. It is not good. Straight away, Spurs fans that were trying to gas out themselves, like, you never know. And just done well with his signings that he's brought in. No, 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 no. They're, they're kind of unknown entities. We know what Werner's about. He's not going to change overnight. And it was, for me, it was a it was a crash to start with, man. He was never going to be a success at Spurs. Never. I was literally never. about to literally say the same thing. I literally about to say the same thing. He said, oh, I really love the club. <laughs> Get out of here, man. You said that. Werner said that. Did you hear what he said? Werner said that. Hold on, hold on. Hold Something hold along them lines, yeah. Werner said he loves Spurs. Something along them lines, yeah. Didn't he say the same about Chelsea? I thought he said the same about Chelsea. He said a lot. He said a lot at Chelsea, to be honest, man. Yeah, I love being here. That was it. I love being here. Did you hear what scoring goals, man? Did you hear what he said? I called that out. I got, I got another backlash. So he did an interview <laughs> last week. I love it, and, 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 and he said, um, 
they said that he spoke about when we went down to nine men against Chelsea, I'm really proud that we stuck to our ways and we didn't um, uh, suddenly change our tactics. And, and by the way, I agree with this. I agree with this. Um, and we stuck to our ways and we kept going. We kept going. It's what he said after, right? You've just lost 4-1 to one of our biggest rivals. The hatred is worse than Arsenal. The hatred is next level between Spurs and Chelsea. With Arsenal, we hate the club. With Chelsea, we hate the fans. It's a different type of hate. And, and they feel the same with us as well. It's a two-way thing, yeah. He said, we lost the game, but we won in life. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say is in life? What does that even mean? What, what does that, that mean? mean? I tweeted, mate. Have you seen? Have you seen? Have you seen my thumbnail for my my, my video? <laughs> my panel? Fulham, yeah. No way did he say that. Fulham, Fulham three, Spurs nil, but we won in life. Life. Who <laughs> <laughs> said that? Kulu said that. Yeah. Spurs, yeah. Fans, Spurs fans. They were, yeah. Not, not all, but a lot of them were. <laughs> I love that from Kulu. I love this team, guys. What the hell in life did we just win? We played six <laughs> to watch our team capitulate against the worst Chelsea team in 20 years. We are a laughing stock. We, we've got two players suspended now for the next three games, which we went on to lose. But we won in life. Oh, my <laughs> yeah. God. Like, this is the mentality. This is the mentality at Spurs that has to stop. The Leicester City fan messaged me saying, this is why you win nothing. And I said, I agree. I agree with you. I get what Kudu's trying to say. What he's trying to say is, Look, if we stick to this way, if we don't buckle, just keep going. Don't change the, the philosophy. In the long term, we will get the rewards. I don't think <laughs> with that. What he said, he said we won in life. Still, <laughs> man. Still, well, he's, he was he was because he's thinking about hundred grand a week, oh. and he's crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, he, he was just he was he was just better off saying to dare is to do and just leaving it as that. <laughs> 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 he was better off just saying yeah. that. Uh. Oh, you're wrong. I ran, yeah. I ran a poll. I ran a poll on YouTube saying, "Should we change the club?" I actually did this. You can go and check it out in the community section. I ran a poll saying, "Should we change to there is to do to we won in life?" And right now, we won in life is winning the poll. You know what? Yeah, Estelle, you know, you know, you know, you know Spurs. You know, Spurs, you know, Spurs, Spurs have Spurs have dropped like some massive points. You know, this season, uh, Wolves away lost in an added time three points. Everton during the last minute that's two points dropped there. Wolves at home, three points. Fulham away, three points. Some silly points you lot have lost, you know, like just like 11 points dropped, just like that. Like, I think Spurs could, you know what I mean? I'm not saying they couldn't be finishing higher, but they've just lost like needless games, bro, like that you thought they would win. So, it's not looking good, man. I, I, yeah. I said to you last week, Saeed, don't write off Man United to break into bro, this little... You said to me, no, 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 no. Now listen to you. I think it's done. Now listen. I think it's done. It's 30 points to play for. We've got to play. Listen to this. We, If we play like that, if we play like that game we did against Fulham in April, we are done. We've got Man yeah. City at home, Arsenal at home, Chelsea away, Newcastle away, Liverpool away, West Ham away. Yeah. Listen, that is no joke. No, the but then still. Fulham has got the same games, but United don't have those games. United no, but United, United still have got home games. They got, home. they got to play all of Liverpool, the Liverpool, Chelsea, um, title for uh, Chelsea, Brighton yeah. away. Yeah, man, it's still some tough games, man. So, if we do our job, cool. If we do our job and we keep doing it, fair enough. But if we don't, I'm not relying on other teams. I'm sorry, I've been there before. Like, we don't do our job. That do our job and then cool. But I'm still not celebrating it, man. You know what I mean? I'm not celebrating this this mediocre top four. We get it, cool. But we've been in the Champions League. And we got knocked out. So, so I can't lie. Man. Man. You embarrassed the English teams Wait. in Europe, mate. That was embarrassing. Yeah, yeah man, exactly. Yeah. Especially with Ten Hag in there, bro. I, I don't know, man. I just, I can't do this Champions League again, man. We're just going to get embarrassed. Ten, 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 ten Hag was bro. killing me. Man was looking all dapper in that yesterday. He was actually killing me what he was wearing. Yeah, Usually man, listen. <laughs> He was there, but he's there, man. But but maybe, people, it's, maybe it's auditioning for the gig to be concierge at Gary Neville's hotel opposite the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, <laughs> big up to, um, big up to <laughs> this has been coming locus This is Chelsea. And big up Blaze as to all those Spurs fans who's for some reason think Gallagher will be our best on the flange. How about fixed bombs like Werner Johnson first deluded <laughs> yeah, exactly. the riders? Listen. Exactly. Um, the last game I think we're going to quickly touch on is Man City but th listen I turned off for 20 minutes City are boring man does anybody agree man City are boring to watch <laughs> I didn't man. even bother doing a watch along for it 
I was like, F that, man. The way, that. I see it, the way I see it, City are boring because they're that good. City are boring because they're that good. It's just, it's just, they're just, yeah, they're just, they're just annoying. They're just annoying. The treble is so boring last day, Said. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> man, it's boring. A man. Yeah, I, 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 I can't wait for Pep to leave, you know. Oh, reality is going to hit you again. <laughs> I can't what? wait for Pip to leave, man. I can't no, wait. I'm going, I'm going to support in Girona when he Do you want me to be honest? Do you want me to be honest? Don't. Do you want me to be honest, yeah? Go I on. actually... This, this might sound mad. This is my logic. I'm not in a rush for Pep to leave now because I want another club, e.g. Arsenal, to suffer how we did because every, we're the ones that had to take the front of him. <laughs> I want someone else to feel yeah, like me. Somebody clip that and send uh, it to me. Somebody clip that yeah, and send no. it to me. Because when we win uh, the league at the end of the season, yeah, you're going to be eating humble pie, brother. <laughs> yeah, bro, you've done, you done yourself. You've done yourself. Oh. <laughs> now, we just got our business oh. done, man. We got our business. So, I've got to say, Newcastle were absolutely abysmal again. Um, I don't know. I, th I think Trim, Eddie Howe's on borrowed time. I think he's on borrowed Trim. time there. The players didn't look Trim. like they, they were trying for him. Um, so, yeah, man, we just got our... And it was the first game for a long time that we just controlled the football match. You know, we, we've had too many chaotic games this season. And uh, I like... When people say City are boring, that's when we're playing well. So I'm I'm happy mm. that Saeed just said that because that means we're playing well. When we're not playing boring oh. and people are enjoying watching our football matches, that's when we're... That's the when we're not in control. And that's when we're vulnerable. You know, so... Um, yeah, happy happy with it. Not much to say. We just got to come back now and, and that game against Arsenal, we must win. Yeah. Simple as. We must yeah. win, man. But treble is still on. Treble is still on. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, man. Uh, big up to everyone who's locked in, man. Man City go through. It's an international break. We might be back next week. We'll let you know, man. You know what I mean? We might have a week off, but we'll, we'll let you know, man. Content will still roll as usual, man. Big up to everyone here. Have we hit a thousand likes, guys? If we haven't, then that's a massive disgrace here. We're currently on 927 likes. Guys, by the time everyone shouts out their channels, we need to be on a thousand likes, man. Stell, what you got coming up, man? Anything coming up on your channel? Talk them away. Make sure you check it out. Everyone's channels are in the description below. So check it out, people. But still, big up, man. Yeah, no, big up to you, Roms, LB, Lee, Don, everyone in the chat. Thanks for having me on again. Um, yeah, I'm on tonight, half past eight. And whatever happens, win, lose, or draw, we won in life. <laughs> yeah. Facts, facts, man. 100%, 100%. Make sure you check it out. Uh, big up to uh, Roms. What you got coming up, man? I we'll have to speak about this game again, but I believe at 11, maybe even midnight, me, Monts and Cal from Coppish, just dissecting um, the United game and what's, in, what's next to come. So, yeah, that's all I've got today. Yeah. Make sure you check it out, people. Uh, LB, what are you saying, man? Elbins, what's going on? Yeah, nah, chilling, man. Everything's chilling. Just gonna watch some dead international football in this uh, in this break, man. I've not even checked what games are on. We'll probably be watching some Brazil, England. Football. Oh, is it? Yeah, no, nah, I think. Um, is that on Saturday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saturday. I'm, I'm actually out for that one. That's probably the one good game in it. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. there's France, Germany. There's France, Germany as well. Oh, right, okay, we'll hit that up. Yeah. Man. We'll hit that. Up. Yeah. yeah, man, we're just chilling. Big up the panel as always. Big up the chat. Hit the likes. So make sure you subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you check it out, people. Um, Lee Gunner, you live at four o'clock as well. Um, podcasts, what you guys got coming up? Yeah, man, podcast with Kenny, Jez, and Matty. Uh, I'm going to record some videos. I'm actually enjoying this international break now because I've been flat out. So I'm yeah, just going to record some videos. Real. I'm still going to do the lives uh, on the main channel, obviously. Um, but I'm going to do a couple of watch alongs for the dead international break. Uh, Spain, Brazil on Friday night. Um, Ooh. And yeah, there's a few other games. I can't remember which ones I was doing, but there's a few. But yeah, I've got a video, two videos coming out later, um, ripping into United fans for not saying Bruno should have been sent off. Um, <laughs> and then talking about Ange Imposter Coglu saying fourth isn't a prize, guys. And then at the end of it, saying that if we finished fourth and I can see we could be in the title race next season, I'll take it. So he kind of contradicts himself. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled for them. <laughs> and big up to the panel, big up to the chat, man. Smash the like button. Come on, people. Make sure you lot hit the like button, people. It costs you nothing, man. And Don, what you got coming up, man? Yeah, man. Definitely going to release some more content on my channel. I released a video yesterday. Um, so, yeah, my channel is what? Two weeks old now. Week and a half old. Nearly on 200 subscribers. Um, so, yeah, please keep subscribing for me. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm active on there. But, yeah, big up Saeed. Big up Stell. Big up Roms. Big up Lee. Big up LB every time, man. Yeah, big up the chat. absolutely, man. 
Yeah, big up the chat, man. Always, we're here midday live, man. You get me? Big up to always, man. It's always love, man. Guys in the chat, make sure you like the video. I'll be back at five o'clock. Straight Jacket Podcast with me and Nuruddin. We'll be having a laugh, laughing at Liverpool. More laughing. If you want to see more laughing, come over and head over there, guys. <laughs> we're out, people. Take care. Bye. bye.